Well, it tastes like fucking shit. It's either because my STD ridden fucking friends. Oh my God. If you've ever met fucking whores in your life, it's my group of friends sleeping around left, right and center. I have a friend who fucked a monk. She fucked a monk. Never been tested in their life. Never even seen a sex clinic. What's getting tested? What's AIDS? They don't know, but they have it. Meanwhile, they have some vag eating flesh bacteria. They're sucking out of my goons like it's fucking teat. I know I said I wouldn't get drunk on camera again, but since I'm going to plans where I plan on getting drunk, I thought I'd just get drunk about three hours early. I'm gonna start this get ready with me. I don't know if you care what I use on my face. My face never looks good, so you probably don't want to fucking know. Don't take any of my tips. My other get ready with me was filmed seven months ago, I think it's all the exact same products. People that buy makeup often, I don't know how they do it. Where's the money coming from? I mean, maybe if I didn't spend all my fucking money on food and alcohol, I'd also have some to buy a new foundation or at least a beauty blender. But in the meantime, it's more laziness than anything. I've had a beauty blender for the past fucking seven years. It's not even a beauty blender. Real Techniques knockoff. That doesn't give you an example of who I am as a person. Oh shit, I don't even have a mirror down here. I feel like something I need to address in this video is my acne. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mara fucking Badescu. Mara Badescu. I know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's been everywhere. Some fucking page on Instagram, like, baddie things only. It's like, skincare feed, Mara Badescu, rose water spray. I've never broken out more in my life. And don't think I didn't try it. Bitch, I've been washing my face every single day for three fucking months. My acne gets worse every single day. It's a scam. None of it works. Okay, I'm ready once I post this. A fucking Mara Badescu to send me an email being like, you know too much. Anyone tells you to get Mara Badescu, you just do this. Fuck you. Get new friends, bitch. Get new friends. Because it doesn't work. It just looks cute. Like, I get it. You want things so they look cute. But, like, just have it displayed in your room. Don't tell other people to get it. But I tried to be that bitch. Christmas came along quicker than anything. One minute was March 18th. Next minute it was December 26th. Christmas had been and gone and I hadn't even woken up for it. And I was like, Mom, get me Mara Badescu skincare. I want all of it. So she bought me all of it. And it's all fucking shit. That's skincare. The best skincare routine you can ever get in your entire life. And I'm probably going to get sued for saying this as someone's skin fucking burns through their cheekbones. Dettol hand sanitizer. Hear me the fuck out. Dettol deletes, deletes. Ooh, ooh, ow. Ow. Dettol kills 99.95% .9 of germs. Do you know what causes acne? Germs. Bacteria. Same fucking thing, different name. Also, if you think I have multiple foundations for my different skin colors, 100% do I fake tan every single day of my life? No. But do I like to think that I do? Yes. So do I always buy my fake tan a thousand and nine shades dark and never buy a lighter one for the days that I'm not fake tanned like today? No. Always the one shade and it's always orange. Benefits about being fat is I never wear anything revealing. So everything always covers my arms and my neck anyway. The only thing that's gonna give, give me a dead giveaway is my legs because I can never wear pants. Holy shit. My camel toe? My camel toe? You've never seen anything like it in your life. Never ever. It's a fucking disgrace. Think of like two kiwis on top of a grapefruit. That's what my vagina looks like. I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this story. I'll always start something in my videos and then never continue it and have to edit the whole thing out because I have no fucking idea what I was trying to talk about because I get distracted. I have major ADHD if you haven't already noticed. I'm self-diagnosed a lot of things, but ADHD is doctor diagnosed. <laughs> Do you know what I'm waiting for? The next like big TV show, like teen TV, like things like the Vampire Diaries. Everything's over now. Teen Wolf, Vampire Diaries, over. I know they tried to make Riverdale happen. I know this. I watch Riverdale. I watch anything. Everyone else I know fucking hates the show. I mean, I could sit here talking about it all day. Oh my god, I got a booger. I could make a whole video just ranting about Riverdale and how I could have done it better. <laughs> Cole Sprouse, so KJ Apple, it's the only reason anyone fucking watches it. But like, when's the next big thing coming? Because I want to fucking touch my shit. I get my biggest fantasies from thinking about, oh my god, have I ever touched myself to the thought of a boy from school? Never in my life. Never in my life when I was in fucking high school did I ever touch myself to the thought of someone that I know because they're all fucking gross. Sorry if you watched this and you went to high school with me. But like, you didn't like me, I didn't like you, we fucking established that, unless you're- I always touch my shit to someone out of like a TV show, a movie. Stefan Salvatore, for instance. Edward Cullen, for instance. Did I just say instance or incense? 
I've touched myself to the thought of them one too many times. Do I think there's enough times you can touch yourself to ever call it? No. If you think I haven't touched myself to the idea of David Dobrik, 100%. But who trumps David Dobrik in the bedroom recently? Mind you, I touch myself like fucking eight times a day. So I have a lot of room for a lot of people to think of. But it's been continuously Dylan fucking O'Brien. If you don't think Dylan O'Brien is the sex god of our generation, you to take several seats in a bench. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. I contoured. It was a fucking disaster. It's still a disaster. But we're moving the fuck on. I am running two hours late. We're cutting it close to three. I'm late to everything. People that are on time, who the fuck's on time to anything? How? How? Like, genuinely how? I mean, most of the time I don't turn up. But even when I do, I'm late. Like, fucking hell. I, I don't know how anyone's friends with me. Bitch, I wouldn't be friends with me. Talking about, like, the next TV show that's going to be, like, a big hit. I'm waiting for a character that I relate to. Um, even that my friends relate to them. My friends are little whores. Yes. But, like, a lot of them have never even had boyfriends. Where's that character? Where's the character that, like, not every guy's fucking dying to be with them? Like, they don't have this great love of their life they meet in high school. Like, they can't get a boy. Like, I thought Lady Bird was going to be this, like, super relatable film. And it wasn't. Yes, Timothée Chalamet, who we all love and adore, was in it. And he played like the fuck boy. But like, he, he wanted to fuck her. Why can't there just be a guy that a girl has a crush on and they don't end up together? Like they don't even, they barely even say hi in the whole way of school kind of thing. Because that's how it is. That's how it goes. And I know that TV shows are meant to be like an escape from reality. It's like goals. Oh my god, I wish that was me. But we have enough of that. Every fucking show and movie's like that. Give us something that's like a girl being like, fuck me, all I want is a boyfriend. I can't fucking get one because guys suck. Guys suck. I've never watched anything and been like, I relate to that. Because even people that date shit guys, I can't even get a shit guy. Even the ugliest guy in the world, and trust me, I've met them. <laughs> Won't go near me. And that's the way it is for a lot of girls. I'm not special. A lot of girls can't even get a guy to make eye contact at them without the face being like... I mean, that's how most guys look at me anyway. Do you know what I can't fucking stand? And I have zero time for? Rude people. Got no time in the world. And I've got all the time in the world. I don't have a job. I don't go to school. And I still got no time for people like that. How do you get that high on your horse? I don't know about you. But the first thing I think when I wake up and the last thing I think when I go to bed is I'm the fucking worst. I'm always on my explore feed. I don't touch anything on my news feed. I couldn't care less about the actual people that I follow. But you know what the most popping thing on the explore feed has been recently? All these fucking dumb Instagram pages about things that are meant to be relatable that are just the most unrelatable thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Like videos and I don't know if they're meant to be funny. Because people like comment in the sections being like, ha ah, so me. And I'm like, I would never be like, oh, so me. I mean, the one that's been everywhere recently is this video of this girl who's like singing to a song and it's like, when you just get out the shower, she's got her fucking eyebrows done. Got her fucking eyelash extensions in, lip gloss on, bit of concealer. And it's like, and I'm like, who the fuck's being like, yes, yeah, same. I get out of the shower like that. What? Look what I can do one-handed. Lip gloss. And it's like, who the fuck's using two hands? Who's out here like, oh shit. This is why I fucking hate Lele Pons. Oh my God. If you don't know that I hate Lele Pons, I fucking hate Lele Pons. I've just never seen anyone so unfunny in my entire existence. Because... It's not even like she's a particular type of humor. There is nothing about her that's funny. None of her videos are relatable. None of them, like, and if anyone genuinely watches these and is above the age of like 13 and goes, oh shit, true, block me, block me. Like, honestly, never speak to me in your entire life. Like, I never want to meet anyone ever, ever says to me that Lele Pons is so funny. Block me. Between the beauty gurus and the Lele Pons fan pages I've blocked on Instagram, I've blocked more people than I follow, to be honest. Every time I film videos, 
I start getting in conversations about like fucking politics. Who the fuck cares? I don't even care. One minute I'm talking about Lily Pond, next minute I'm talking about tax refunds in Australia. I don't even know what that means. I don't know how to pay taxes. I don't even know what taxes are. Like, how do you sign up for taxes? Can I just like not sign up for taxes? This is why I got kicked out of politics class. True story. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> if you don't think Lightning McQueen's hot, I would fuck this shit out of Lightning McQueen. Of course, if I was like a, another car, I wouldn't do it as a human. Instead of studying for my year 12 exams, I literally watched cars. It was on my Snapchat. No one followed me back then, but. <laughs> <laughs> I told everyone that you fucked a monk. Did you actually? Yeah. I was like, all oh, my friends are little fucking whores and you fucked a monk. True. If you smell shit, I've done that thing again. Shit in the ass. And you scratch it out. Abigail. No, shit in the ass, but I can't bother wiping it. Can you smell? No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds of you sculling it? No matter what you say, you're sculling it anyway. Out of three. One, two, three. Two. Three. Scarlet. <laughs> Where's the fucking dog? Banny! My lashes are so short. And my mum was like... No, you did good. I can't even say the like, this time. I love your... This time. <laughs> I look so fat today. You don't. I was testing you there, because usually when I say that, you just stay silent. I look so gross today. <laughs> That's you. <Yeah>, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, we're gonna put our drugs in that. <gasps> That's cute. I know, isn't it so cute? We're gonna put our drugs in that. <laughs> <laughs> You're my only real friend. She's a gun. Shut up. You fucked a monk. <laughs> Stop rocking against this. <laughs> Uma, right? Uma. Uma. <laughs> Choices, boo! Probably oh, not as cute as I thought it was. No. <laughs>